Hi everybody, my name is Brian Adcock and I am the race director and founder of Castle Triathlon Series. I want to welcome you to the Heba Castle Triathlon 2020, our 12th edition of this event um, and um, albeit in slightly interesting COVID circumstances. So if you're a triathlete or a multi-sport participant, or, which basically means if you're a duathlete, an aqua biker or an aqua thona, then you're watching the correct video. If you're a swim only competitor or a run only competitor, then there is a separate general video for you. So um, stop watching now and go and find the correct one. Okay, so triathletes and multi-sport participants, I'm just gonna talk you through the non-course elements of the event at Eva Castle, which is um, gonna take place on the 26th, 27th of September. So you'll receive your instruction pack and uh, you all know which day that you're competing on and you'll be told in your instruction pack to follow signs to Eva Castle um, and specifically the yellow AA style signs that will say Eva Castle Triathlon event. Um, this is very different uh, in terms of entry point to the castle estate um, than the main entrance. So do not follow your sat navs because it will take you in the wrong direction and you'll end up screwing up my um, very well considered transport plan in terms of getting everybody into the event. Uh, the nature of the roads around the back of the castle are that they are quite narrow and so um, the way the signs are set up means that everybody's going in the right direction so that we don't have lots of people driving into hedges as they come to the event. So um, first big point is don't follow your sat nav, follow my yellow AA style signs that say Heaver Castle Triathlon event. Okay, so um, you'll arrive at uh, the event via the rectory lane gate, um, and then you'll come into what are five large fields and you'll be parked up in one of the fields. I'm just gonna share my screen with you now and explain what will happen next. So bear with me a second. <coughs> um, okay, so let's get this on here. Um, so that is um, the car park entrance down the bottom of the screen here. That's off uh, Rectory Lane and you'll be brought um, firstly into this field here, which is field D. You can actually see um, last year's imprints on the grass for where the cars drove. Uh, those of you that come earlier in the day will be parked up in car park B um, and our secondary car park is car park D. Um, car park C and car park E will only be used in extremis. Um, they're, they're absolutely fine as far as parking goes, but they are um, that bit further away from the field, which is to be used as the holding area. Um, so that's basically how you'll get to um, the holding area, which will be the start of your um, experience with us. So just moving to the next slide, the holding area itself. So this is um, car park field A here, um, and you'll be presented with three marquees sitting um, astride a buried off area which provides the holding area. Um, these five lanes over here on the left hand side, you're approaching from this direction, um, are for competitors and their spectators um, and all of you will be given a 15 minute window to attend the event. So uh, for example, those of you that are going off first thing in the morning on either day at 7.30, you'll be given a window to attend of between 6.15 and 6.30. 75 of you will also, or 74 other people will be given the same time. Um, you'll all arrive um, within that 15 minute window and be loaded into one of these five lanes along with your spectators. Um, as soon as we get to 6.30, um, we'll then basically close off um, that particular holding pen um, and then allow you um, at the other end to enter the event um, via these different pathways and that will bring you out into the main field. Um, other things about this uh, diagram, at the, on the right hand side here um, of car park B is disabled parking. Um, just a reminder that each of the car parks will have a letter that will be posted on the entry and the exit of the car park. So please take note of which car park that you're in so that um, you're not wandering around forever at the end of the day in the dusk um, trying to find your car. Um, also, if you arrive early, please just stand off to the side of the holding area. Um, you'll be called forward in your 15 minute band um, to come to the entry point um, when they're good and ready for you. So please don't get in the way of everybody else. Just remember to remain two meters distance to everybody else where possible. 
Um, there will be a set of toilets in this field and also a PPE store should you want to buy any um, PPE items before entering the site. It's not a requirement of ours that you must wear PPE, not, not a requirement at all. Um, the other lane of note here is the spectator, spectator entry lane and that is if your spectators are not coming first thing in the morning but are going to arrive later in the day, um, I should say um, your spectators, what I mean is your spectator because there's only one spectator allowed per competitor, um, but should they come later in the day and, and park up independently in the car park, then they'll come and present themselves at this spectator entry point and then be let into the event as they pretty much arrive. Um, so there'll be no holding for them as such. Um, and then they'll follow the event in, in this direction along with everybody else. Um, so that's holding area operations. So um, you'll then enter the field uh, and um, I'll just bring you on to the next diagram and you will follow this particular set of arrows. So um, I'll just get that on full screen. Here we go. So this is you at the holding area. Uh, you then come into the event and you follow the signage that says registration um, and you'll come into what's called Pokerage Field where the, the, um, the bulk of uh, the event village and transition is. Um, you'll walk down the right hand side of the field as you look at it. Um, and the first thing that you'll come to is the BTF licensing tent. Um, so just significance of the uh, numbers and letters in red uh, S minus 60 means your start time minus 60 minutes. So um, you've basically got 60 minutes to get yourselves down and uh, ready to get into the water for your particular race, um, unless you're a duathlete, of course. Um, so uh, you'll move um, through the BTF license tent. Uh, and if you are a BTF license holder, you'll just present your license. Um, and if you have had to buy a day license, which you do in advance of the event, that is also where you will present your license at this point. Uh, we would uh, request that everybody purchases uh, a day license in advance of the event if, they, if they're not actually a BTF member. Um, so five minutes later, you'll find yourself in the registration queue, again, socially distanced, um, and uh, you'll be presented with five booths effectively. Um, each one of those booths will have a person with an iPad and you will basically be given an envelope which matches your surname to a particular number so that we know who it is that crosses the start line a bit later on in the piece. You'll enter transition at S minus 45 and then you've got 25 minutes in transition to prepare yourselves uh, and um, get absolutely everything ready and your wetsuits on, ready to leave at S minus 20 um, and then you follow that route um, from S minus 20 through the village, past the row of toilets that's here, and then down towards the loggia. Um, this is where the second holding area is, and we'll expect you to be there at your start time minus nine. Uh, and just a reminder that there are 75 of you in your particular group, and you will all be racked along a single um, 75 meter long piece of racking here on alternate sides of the racking and then you'll be asked to move together um, en masse down to the second holding area. Um, you all have the same coloured hats on which will help you in terms of knowing which group you're supposed to be moving with and then when you get down here you'll join a socially distance queuing system um, that will allow us to call you up onto the loggia in a timely and measured fashion. The way it will work is at S minus six, the first 15 of you will be called up onto the right hand side of the loggia as we looked at it. Um, there you will see me and I will give you an update on which swimming boy you're supposed to be swimming down or around as you look down the lake. Um, there are further boys further down here, but um, on the Saturday, these are all uh, the swimming boys that you'll see in front of you. On the Sunday, there are a few more added. Um, and then I will update you on any changes to the cycle or the run and also what coloured uh, signs that um, you guys will be following out on the course and how many laps of each of those courses you'll be doing. Um, and then with three minutes to go, um, that group of 15 will move over to the left hand side of the loggia, again socially distanced, and you'll be called forward one by one, approximately 10 seconds apart and your race will start as soon as you cross the timing mat that will be across the top of the steps um, up here. Just please take care as you get into the water. I know your time will have started, um, but these are very slippy steps and it's also not very deep down here. So please don't dive in. 
um, and then you will crack on with your event. And um, the actual courses themselves are the subject of a separate video briefing. Um, but suffice to say that when you finished, you'll end up in the finish area, which is marked on the map here. Um, and then you'll have a slightly different route in terms of the way that you um, leave the site. So um, as far as multi-sport is concerned, aqua bike and aquathon, um, you guys um, will have a specific um, set space within transition to um, set yourselves up at. Um, and the duathletes will set, again, have a rack space, set themselves up and then at 20 minutes prior to their departure, they will be moved across to this side of the um, events field and your start line is in this location here and you actually head off in this direction down here on what's called Shite Lane. Um, again, there will be a holding pen that you get um, put into which will enable us to keep you socially distant uh, and we will get you departing um, 15 of you every two minutes, so a little bit quicker than the, uh, the swim entry. Um, and that is basically how you get onto and into the start of your event. Okay, I'm just gonna change screens now, so um, bear with me a second. And um, when you finish the event, slightly different setup. So all of you, um, bar none, will finish here. Um, and that includes the aqua bikers who, um, although your time will stop as soon as you come into transition um, in this corner down here when uh, your bike and you pass over the mat, um, we'll then ask you to put your trainers on and make your way into the finish straight. Um, and you'll be shown how to do that by the transition team and then finish across the line so that you can grab your own medal and any of the finish line buffet that we'll have presented for you. Um, just a note on that, that finish area, um, it will be different than in previous years. Um, the guys that are manning it will be wearing PPE um, and they will have aprons and masks and gloves on. Um, but please don't be put off by them. They're there to help you um, and um, the PPE is just there to, um, to keep them safe. Um, we will have food and drink laid out for you, um, which will be of a takeaway style. So please no dwelling at the finish area um, and you'll have to collect your own medal and um, we will not have any um, massage assistance within the finish um, area itself either. So it's pretty much grab your medal, grab your food and then make your way back around to transition. And the way that you go to transition is you come out of the finish area, turn immediately right, sorry, immediately left, and then make your way to the northern side of transition, staying on this side of the deer fence, and uh, you come back in through a gap in the fencing up here, and you'll be allowed back to your racking so that we keep a one-way system going through transition. You've got 15 minutes um, from the time that you finish to get into transition, then a further 15 minutes to grab your stuff, uh, and then move off out of transition, and then you effectively got half an hour to spend a bit of time in the train village um, maybe have a drink at the bar uh, and um, have a look at the, uh, the food concessions which will all be selling um, takeaway food. You then make your way uh, through the jousting field which is this field just here um, so that we have a one-way system going around the event um, and then you'll come through a gap in the hedge over here and that will bring you back into car park B approximately one hour after you have finished your race um, and that will be your time um, at the event. You um, obviously go back to the letter car park that you know that your car's in, um, put all your stuff back in your car in as socially distanced way as possible and then make your way back out through the rectory lane exit point and as soon as you hit rectory lane we'd ask you to turn right so that um, we maintain a one-way system down rectory lane and that will bring you out onto the Uckfield lane um, which is the lane that you would have cycled up if, you, um, if, if you're not a uh, aqua flonner, um, but the lane that almost everybody would have cycled up. Um, and then from that point on, you can turn either left or right to um, head back to your onward destination. I think that's pretty much it. Um, please uh, take time to listen to your next briefing, um, which will be on the specifics of your course. Thank you very much for listening.